Hello, I'm Justin. And I'm Kyle. And we are driving to Joe Fest. Woo! 2023 all the way over in Augusta. What are you hoping to find? Uh, toys, I hope. Do you think there's a possibility that may not happen? <laughs> no. Uh, you know looking, what I'm asking. I'm looking for some older Transformers, early 2000s. And I'm looking for him to man squeal. That's all I want. <laughs> That's all I want. That might happen at least once. Is that Storm Shadow over there? We're here, mm -hmm. safe and sound. Yep, we made, made it. it. Nice driving. Oh, thank you. Excellent. I did my best. Uh, this is the convention center right here. Now, you were saying because this Sunday, there's a lot less people. Than... Oh yeah, this was, last time I came here, it was Saturday. There was lots of people. Giant mob crossing the street. Speaking of that, let's go. The good thing about it being early is that it's not very loud. What is that? Is that the aircraft carrier? That's how big it is. That's the aircraft carrier. There's an Optimus Prime. And there's an old Tigra, $250. <laughs> Technodrome, now what are those heads there? They're masks. So you need that, right? <laughs> you need that in your life? The big spaceship? Original G.I. Joe stuff. Oh, do we need that? There's some twins there. Do we need that? Because they're <laughs> twins, we're twins. Is that two on the nose? Kyle says it might be two on the nose. Look at this, lots and lots of carded Joes. And some vintage stuff. If I see something else that like, totally grabs my That's awesome. You can eat, sleep, and drink Thundercats. Oh, and brush your teeth. Skeletor wants you to have tooth decay. <laughs> oh, what do you see, what do you see? Oh, I don't... I remember the show, I don't remember that guy. Street Sharks! Thundercat Lunchbox. Some Power Rangers. Look at that. Hey, hey, hey! Brother, do you want to get pumped like Hulk? Go for the Hulkamania workout set. Brother. Look at that kid, he's on his way to being Jack. Alright Kyle, tell me what you're feeling this, right now. Nostalgic. Look at these. Like some of these you, get, you just hardly ever see in the package. Look at that sound wave. I, I think you need this, this Trypticon up here. That's what you need. <laughs> we have the big Trypticon, right? Uh, yeah, I have the, you have the, the recent release. The recent one, yeah. Here he is. What do they call him Frenzy? Yeah, that's Frenzy and Laserbeak, right? Mm-hmm. Which and is weird because Soundwave came with Buzzsaw, Buzzsaw yeah. Which, but Laserbeak was always the star of the show. There's a Ford Max, look at that. You got your Broadway. We don't even have Broadway. Mmm, the, the girdles. Yeah, it's just, it's just if I PayPal it, it's an extra, like, yeah, so you're gonna It's gotta be, right? Parts just made to look good. Look, I think that's the first G2 Megatron. It was a huge tank when he switched from the gun to the tank. He, he's 30 bucks, do you have it? I don't have that, no. Is that the first ratchet? Is that G1 ratchet? Yeah, that looks like a G1 complete nice ratchet. You know, the, the clear plastic on all those old ones didn't last very long. You'd be really careful. So unfortunate. Look, <gasps> the original Jurassic Park T-Rex. You remember this? The small this? one. 
Oh my goodness! That was a small one. Yes, and he's missing his uh, flesh wound. Visionaries. Oh, I remember. Oh, we had all of these. Kyle's in a moral quandary. He does not chase after vintage stuff. But here is a G2 Megatron. The first time they re-released Megatron outside of the original G1. This is it. And he comes with his gun and it says right there, big stick. And eat this, Autobots. The bluster on this guy. The absolute gall. The audacity. These are gorgeous. Look at these. Wow. So all the parts on the 3D printed. So yeah, so you made of roses. Yeah. Thorny roses. Beautiful. Check them out. These are gorgeous. All right, now Kyle, you were saying, what is the rare piece? The, he had a tiny little gun clip. I'm assuming it's in that bag. I don't want to flip it over. Is it going to fall apart if I pick it up? I'm scared. <laughs> but I, that black clip is the one, you know, all the small pieces, that's the one people lose. And look how many pieces Triptychon had. You know, trying to get a complete of these vintage toys is really difficult. Just because they had so many pieces. And they broke and lost. They yeah. got lost. These are beautiful. Look how clean he is. Yeah, he's not hardly yellowed at all. No. And look at those old lunch boxes. They're beautiful. No, sir, you are beautiful. And you want to know what's really beautiful? Donnie playing b-ball. Do not touch the dragon. Do not touch the dragon. There they are Our again. twins. We're not the only mirror twins here. I know. Seems like we have to get them. Kyle's in full search mode now. He's scanning, scanning. Lots and lots of Transformers. Lots and lots of He-Man. Mix of vintage, Neo Retro, all sorts of stuff. Oh, an original Rat Trap. Nice, there's more Transformers on the other side too, Kyle. All right, so here we have a first edition Red Bumblebee. So this is pre-pre-rub sign where he's packaged in vehicle mode because they were all packaged in robot mode most of the time. No, look at that price. Because people thought they were penny racers? Yeah, because that's what he's made to look like. That's, and then they started putting him in robot mode so you wouldn't get confused. Do you need that in your life? I have it. That is so cool. Robo Skull MK2. Very, very cool. Animal Kingdom. This is a smaller, um, really, really cool high end adult collector centered collectibles, um, kind of like Mythic Legion type. Look, it's the governor of Minnesota. He ain't got time to bleed. It's really him. Awesome. We have some Jeeps, lots and lots of Lego minifigures and anime figures. You have a little bit of everything here. We've got a Super Sonic right there and a Super Saiyan. There's Dale, some Mythic Legion, and Darkwing Duck. 
coloring books and all sorts of vintage G.I. Joe swag. Awesome stuff. You never know what you'll find in these places. Vintage bootleg, it's your favorite thing. <laughs> Custom 3D printed. Wow. That is so cool. Looks just like the toy. Yeah, being driven by a bat. <laughs> robots driving nice. robots. Well, that's just a hologram, right? That's what Optimus <laughs> Why Prime. Why would he choose that hologram? That's that's what Optimus Prime thinks uh, humans drives look like. humans look like. That's, a, that's what humans look like, right? That is gorgeous. We're in Atlanta. Okay. So. That is cool. So we heard a rumor that Chuck Norris was actually here. And they were right. There he is. Actually, lots of Chuck Norris's. His, 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 his. We had a few of these. You remember that? Zap. Ooh, some vintage stuff. Wow. Sitting like a boss. So the Mirror Twins found some Mirror Twins. And just like the real deal, they're evil. <laughs> That's probably the single greatest piece of art I've ever seen in my life. Do you collect much GoBots? Hey, there's that one my kids have. We call him Moon Howler. Look at that chromed out cliff jumper. Yeah, I don't know where that's from. Oh, it's G2. Now you can dress like Skeletor. Be the man about Eternia. Strut around in your leathery, pleated cod piece. Captain Power. Someone had the giant playset, the Karate Kid playset. I saw that. Remember Lynx? We had the Lynx. Yep. What? Crazy. There's Dinobot. You see that Dinobot and the uh, Omega Supreme? Do you remember the theme song to that? Karate Kids. That's crazy. Look at all this old stuff. Wow. His face. He just looks like he's. I don't know, like a piece, or maybe going to the restroom? Like it's not an intense looking face. He looks like he just woke up or something, <laughs> or had too many uh, painkillers. Captain Planner! Zombie Santa, military Santa. I thought these were big bad exclusive. Robot Santa. Um, yeah, it says. Look at that business card. That's a pretty cool business card too. Look at all this stuff coming out. A lot of these. Customize your figures. Look at this. So these are all Hasbro, you said, Kyle? And then so they put heads on them. Yeah. I'm pretty sure these are just Hasbro figures. Look at this. That is so cool. Where's craft figures? The parts on the different sides. So are those Vitruvian hacks? Those are Vitruvian hacks, aren't they? So these are like okay. Customize your hacks. Interesting. Okay, so we have the original Megazord. This is the original Dragon Zord from that same vintage, right? 
I'm right, scared Kyle? to look. I'm scared to what, look. What's your price guess? Uh, 150. 150? Okay, let's see it. 40? What? Oh, you're, he doesn't, you're, he doesn't, oh, he's missing that he's missing parts, that's uh, why. All right, Joe Fist, it's now time for the final drawing of the Cyber Pro. I think I got that already. So get those tickets out and get Oh, what's this? What's this? Go. Do you need I have this? All those. You have all these? Okay. That's appropriate. Some new adventures of He-Man. And Omega Supreme. And Beetlejuice. And Ninja Turtles. Foot stinks. I did not realize the Golden Girls had their own action figure line. Mm -hmm. I mean, that does not look like the was old the, ladies I remember in the show. I think that was the original pitch. Oh, okay. So this is worth a lot. But then the casting didn't make any sense. Oh, wait, there's Betty White. <laughs> That's Betty White right there. Golden Girl. It was just when there was one of them. And they had to cast more. <laughs> you only have, have to come out, but we do virtual boards. So these are Action Force, Valiverse, and it's a uh, you know that Hasbro scaled. This is a six-inch scale. Six-inch scale, but like GI Joe esque, right? They have. That figure there who looks really, really cool. They've got these cool figures. This is so funny that there is this one. Yeah, he's only $15 too. Yeah. So two years from now, we Paramilitary. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And they've got their own comic. And there's snow adventures. I'm sure they're going sledding and all that stuff. Oh, look at the full camo guy. What'd you think? I really liked it. It was really, really cool. Uh, I did not expect Sergeant Slaughter to be there. That was neat. They had the voice actresses for certain things. Gem and the Holograms and then one of the G.I. Joe voice actresses. Mm -hmm. But they didn't get a Larry lot of- Hama was there. Yeah, they didn't get a lot of attention. I guess because you had to pay to talk to them, basically. It was, it was also Sunday. So that could have been it. People were trying to look for the last minute deals and stuff like that. Have you been to a toy convention before? No, not specifically. Years ago, we went to the anime convention, which was very similar. So I kind of knew what to expect. And then Lego conventions, I guess. Legos, oh, okay. Legos so. are toys, right? Are Legos toys? I don't even know anymore. It, it's a lifestyle. It's, a, <laughs> it's not a toy. The Lego lifestyle. We saw a lot of what I would term craft action figure companies i guess like micro breweries there's got to be a term for that that there was a lot of small action figure companies like? which just well they had like action force um the animal warriors yeah there was a bunch of those and then there were guys making parts for that size style of action figure so you give you different heads and different hands and different weapons yeah so or, all sorts of crazy stuff. or take like the marvel legends or the gi joe hasbro stuff and then switch out the heads and you're at the booth and you're talking to the guy who owns the company yeah. like he's just standing there like everyone else and, it's, and he's making his action figures which are sold on big bad toy store or whatever else you've been to a couple of these recently actually they're a lot of fun this one wasn't a big one it's not the size of maybe anime week in atlanta which we haven't been to or in joe years. lanta right? or joe lanta it wasn't as big as the atlanta one but it's it's nice everybody was super friendly all right so what do you got first thing i picked up was some mega constructs master of the universe something no one will care about but it was a faker <laughs> I did not have, I have the other version of this faker. And then I got the evil Lynn that I passed up before, but the uh, the chalky skinned <laughs> evil Lynn. Next, you. All right, so I got a, for a really good deal, Night Prowler and Vector Prime, little one. This weird, crazy repaint of Starscream. Then these acid green. <laughs> I got these for my kids, these. Uh, core class, Transformers. These things are like $12 on Big Bad, if you can even find these anymore. $10 like at Target and Walmart. But he gave me both of these for 10. Good deal. Okay, we each got a Baroness. Yes, we got the same one. This guy was selling these Baronesses. This is 
for very nice. very nice. fifteen dollars. He gave us a little bit of a discount, like five dollars off for the two of them. Yep. So instead of thirty, we paid twenty-five for both of them. And then some really cool magnets. This guy just made his own magnets. There's uh, Tomax and Zamot, Megatron. Yeah, G1 Megatron. And then we got Leonardo for our buddy. Probably one of the coolest things we got was Tomax and Zamot. Because they're mirror twins and we're mirror twins. One's so. left-handed, one's right-handed. Just like us. One wears a sash to the right, one wears a sash to the left. Just, Just like, like us. us. Just like us. One has a scar on his face. Just like us. <laughs> my face is my scar. Whatever that means. My face scars other people. <laughs> so I, I give people mental scars. I know we posted we were going to do live stuff, but it's just like it was too much trouble. So thank you. Don't forget to comment, share, like, and subscribe if you like this type of content. Share it with somebody. Maybe someone who didn't get to go wants to see what there was to see. Now get out of here, you crazy kids. Yeah, do that. Go play outside. It's a nice day. These things are like $5 at Walmart. He gave me both for 10 Wait, did I say they were $5 at Walmart?